Good morning, Facebook Live. Joe coming to you live here from Gloucester, Virginia. Just getting back from taking our garbage run this morning. Things I love about down here, you can get rid of your garbage any day of the week except for Wednesdays, and it's free. So I don't like that stinky stuff hanging around my house. So I just got back from getting rid of all our weekly garbage. We've been organizing the garage as you saw all week long. So happy Saturday, everybody. I'm on my way to get a nice one hour massage here, taking care of this body. Gotta keep the body in shape. But I was meditating this morning on that hummingbird flying around in circles underneath our carport. carport. There's this big, huge opening on the lower level of that carport where you can drive through, but this bird kept flying around and around for hours before we captured it last night with a couple of nets and let it go. So how many of us do the same exact thing? How many times do we do the same thing over and over and over and over again and we keep getting the same exact thing? And then we blame people, we complain, we argue, we blame the government, we blame our parents, we blame our kids, we blame our employees, we blame the, anybody that's around us. What's up, Jose? Good to see you, my brother. Good morning. How many times do we blame everybody else? When it's us flying around and around in circles, getting the same thing over and over again. So I saw that bird flying around. I figured he was going to fly out eventually. He just kept doing the same thing. So Kathy went and looked it up online, and it says the hummingbird will absolutely die if it does not, if it's not able to fly. So he was just tiring himself out for hours and hours and hours flying around the circle. So as I was going deep into my meditation, thinking about that as humans, how many times do we do the same thing? Repeat the patterns. For me, it was alcohol. I always wanted to sedate with alcohol. But we all have these patterns that we run. So to, in order to break that pattern, the first thing we have to do, create awareness around that pattern. The second thing we have to do is break through. Break through the limited mind. Break through these, these thoughts and these, these anger issues that many of us have. These resentment issues. The guilt, the shame, all these things that we've done. Know that just, I was having this conversation with Kathy. That was just your experience. Don't make it right. Don't make it wrong. That was just your experience that you were in at that time. It's not your fault. You're doing the best with what you know. But as you become more awakened and more aware, more conscious... Then it becomes your responsibility, Blake. Good to see you more this morning, brother. Happy Saturday, everybody. 220 of 366 consecutive Facebook Lives continue to show up to add value to the supreme benefit of the collective. That's us. That's the oneness that's been coming to me for four years now. Regardless of the outside world, what are we doing on the inside world to become one, Eric Alma? Good to see you, brother. So as that hummingbird was going around and around in circles yesterday, my hair and my arms are standing up just thinking about this. How many times do we do that in our own lives? Lack of money, lack of love, lack of connection. We blame everybody. We're smoking cigarettes, we're drinking alcohol, we're sleeping in too late, we're playing video games, we're doing all these stupid things that don't serve us. So don't blame anybody but yourself. We can blame them for a little while, especially when we're younger, but as we get older, we gotta own that stuff. And say, you know what? You take your stake out, you shove it in the ground, and you say from this day forward, no more. This is what I stand for. I put my stake in the ground. I declare this, and whatever that is for you, declare it. And then from that day forward, we have a choice. The choice is ours to continue to fly around that circle until we get tired and die, or we go underneath we adapt and adjust, we go underneath where the opening was, just three or four feet below where we've been flying around in the same holding pattern. Like when you're in an airplane, they say we can't land yet, and they're going round and round circles. You start getting sick to your stomach, you start getting dizzy, it's like when's this plane gonna land? That's your life. Chris tomorrow, good to see you, brother. That's all of our lives. So my intention today is to break your pattern. Bring awareness to your pattern. Bring consciousness to your pattern. Say, what is my pattern? And I keep doing the same thing over and over again. And I keep getting the same results. But I'm blaming everybody else. Stop blaming other people. Own what you're doing in your life. It's not good. It's not bad. It's not right. It's not wrong. It's just what is. Stop doing the same thing over and over again. Get and then blaming your life and where you are in this life. 
and that was me. I blamed my mother for 38 years. Now she's dying of cancer, and I was able to reconcile that. So where in your lives are you not reconciling before you don't have the opportunity to reconcile? I would advise you to reconcile whatever that inner war is for you, because I know all of us are going through some kind of an inner war. And no one's to blame. Not even you, not your mother, not your parents, not your grandparents, not your priest, not your pastor. All these people are slapping you with the rulers growing up and your teachers and not the bullies in school. We have a choice to let that energy go. As I just got done doing my chakra alignment here, I let all the energies go. Open that thing up so the energy can flow freely through me. So tomorrow, I would encourage everybody to get online at 10, 11.33 Eastern Time. They're doing a worldwide prayer meditation for the benefit of the supreme benefit of the collective. I will post a link below this video. It's a worldwide meditation to let the energy go that's blocking us from flying in circles, looking for a place to land. Your runway is open. You are the pilot of your plane. You can choose to land the plane or run out of gas and crash and burn choice is ours so I'm going to get my massage here I hope you guys have a blessed and fantastic day. I hope this message resonated with somebody to take action today to take responsibility for your life these messages are for me just as much as they are for you because I go back and watch these and learn from my own message because as the voice is speaking through me sometimes I miss some of the things that I'm saying and once you raise your level of consciousness and you understand what I'm speaking about right now I would advise you to first and foremost pick up my book on Amazon, Rise as One, The Spiritual Awakening. And the second thing is to stand still and meditate on that free nine-day meditation challenge, r1awakening.com, r1awakening.com. It's a free nine-day meditation challenge. It's me guiding you through a meditation to help you be still and recognize your pattern because I don't want you to fly around in circles until you die. I want you to live life in peace. You have plenty of time to rest in peace. The object of the game of life is to live in peace. I love you guys, I appreciate you. Thank you for all the love and share. The private messages, keep them coming. That keeps me doing what I do. And when it's all said and done, we will rise as one. I love you guys, have a blessed and fantastic Saturday. Go out there and love on your families. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace.